This training film has been prepared to help you to become a good diver. Your instructors in the film are Vicki Draves, who was the first woman ever to win both springboard and platform championships in the Olympic Games, and Lyle Draves, the world-famous diving coach of many Olympic champions. Hello, my name is Vicki Draves, and this is my coach, Lyle Draves. How do you do? We're here to help you in learning how to dive. To become a good diver, it is important you first become familiar with the springboard. Let's take a look. The springboard is usually constructed of wood or metal, preferably at 16 feet long, 18 to 20 inches wide, and weighs about 175 pounds. The thickness varies according to the material and design. The front end of the board is raised from 2 to 4 inches above the base end. The board, at about the middle, rests upon a support which is called the fulcrum. The fulcrum is used to regulate the spring of the board. Vicky is showing us how to adjust it forward and backward. It is up to each individual diver to experiment until he finds the position of the fulcrum that is best suited to his weight and timing on the board. Here is a fulcrum that is adjusted hydraulically. There are generally two heights from the water at which springboards are mounted one meter and three meters. This is the one meter board. The end is a little over a yard or a fraction over 39 inches above the water. This is the three meter board. It is about 10 feet above the water. To get used to the board's movement, first bounce slightly, then gradually higher and higher as you bring in your arm action. Keep your feet the width of your hips apart. An easy jump to the end of the board is a good start in learning the takeoff without losing control. Now try a jump raising a knee slightly. Try the jump again, raising the knee to hip height. To help you get used to leaving the board, always follow through with the dive, as this boy does. The arm action is about the same as you would use jumping over an object. Keep the arms straight but not tense as you swing them forward and upward to a point over the head. From this point they drop downward and backward and into position ready to lift into the dive. Now combine the knee action with the arm action. This combination is known in diving as the hurdle. The hurdle is the most important part of the front approach. To have a good hurdle, you must have the proper steps in the approach. The steps must be an equal distance apart. Here we use tape to guide the beginner. All the strips have now been added, one for each step of the approach, three or four, plus one for the hurdle. Having a consistent approach makes it easier for the diver to execute his hurdle. Now see how easy it is for the beginner to make the approach to the hurdle using equal steps. Now let's watch Vicky. A diver's first action on an unknown board is to measure his stride and determine the starting point of his approach. Vicky takes five normal steps from the end of the board and faces the pool. This is her starting point. Until you are thoroughly familiar with your own stride, it's a good idea to associate the starting point with the mark on the board. Vicky is in position to begin the approach. She is standing erect with her eyes fixed on the end of the board. Notice that she starts with her left foot. This is also the leg she raises in the hurdle. Since she uses a four-step approach, her left knee is now free to raise as she gets to the hurdle. Rule books say the approach should consist of at least three steps prior to the hurdle. If you use a four-step approach, start with the hurdle leg. When using a three-step approach, start with the opposite of the hurdle leg. Watch
watch Vicky's steps. They're the same distance apart, smooth and rhythmic, yet forceful without strain as in normal walking. Now let's watch her arms. Notice that she carries them naturally at her sides during the approach until just prior to the hurdle. Her head is carried erect throughout the approach and tipped very slightly just before the hurdle so that her eyes can spot the end of the board and the landing point. Notice her body. It is in perfect alignment. As she walks, her weight is shifted so that it can be carried forward onto the balls of the feet. Now let's get ready for the hurdle. As the last step prior to the hurdle is taken, both arms assume a position behind the hips. Notice that the arms are slightly bent. The body is set for the recoil as the left leg comes forward and combines with the action of the arms and the press from the right foot. The upper trunk is well up with the back straight. The eyes are focused on the end of the board, but with the head carried as erect as possible. The arms are lifted shoulder width apart as the hurdle leg is raised. The lifting action continues until the knee is hip high and the arms are fully extended in line with the body. The arms flow on to a position straight above the shoulders. As the arms are extended, the palms of the hands turn and face outward in position for the descent. This is the top of the hurdle. The arms are held in position momentarily and she gets the feeling of hanging in midair. As we see the approach again, notice the descent of the hurdle. The hurdle leg is straightened and the other leg is brought forward alongside the hurdle leg. The arms remain extended over the shoulders and remain in this position until just before the feet contact the board. The head, shoulders, hips and knees are in line and the toes pointed. The eyes are sighting the end of the board. The toes contact the board about an inch from the end. Your balance will improve if you land on the board with your feet the width of your hips apart. The arms are lowered and again take position slightly behind the hips, palms facing in. As the heels lightly contact the board, the knees are bent. Arms lift upward and the weight of the whole body is pressing the board to its maximum depression. Although the arm action should be swift and forceful, the arms must not start the upward swing until the diver is ready to receive the impulse of the board. This is known as waiting for the board. The upward lift of the board creates a line of force which the diver receives at a point halfway between the board's maximum depression and its normal resting place. This is known as the line of impulse. For a diver to receive the full benefit of the lift of the board, he must maintain his body in alignment, balanced and centered on this line of impulse. Now notice the takeoff from the board as Vicky enters the water feet first. When the impulse of the board starts the body in its upward motion, the arms have lifted upward the width of the shoulders apart to a point better than halfway between a vertical and horizontal position. The legs are extended and the hips, shoulders, and head remain in alignment. The palms of the hands face in as the arms finish their lift. The legs are brought together and are stretched with the toes pointed. The body is held rigid in this position. At this point, Vicky has received the full action of the board and has reached her maximum height. She shows good balance and body alignment through the entry. Let's review the approach and hurdle. Remember the action should be smooth, rhythmic, and forceful, with all steps, including the hurdle, equally spaced. The lifting actions of the hurdle are lifting the hurdle leg, 
the press off the ball of the opposite foot and the upward lift of the arms. Focus the eyes on the end of the board until the hurdle is complete. Don't rush, wait for the board. And remember, execution of the dive begins at the end of the arm lift. Now for a final review. Let's watch the rhythm and grace that Vicki displays as she combines the many actions that make up the front approach, hurdle, and takeoff. Practice the front approach, a hurdle, and the takeoff. These are the most important steps in becoming a good diver. Also, be a safe diver. Yes, check in front of the board before you dive, and after completing your dive, get away from the diving area as fast as you can. Remember, carelessness causes accidents. And you might be the one who gets hurt. Have fun with your diving. Diving is fun. <laughs>